Hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Rosalia. I do appreciate your time um, that you tune in to listen. I have a couple of videos about scraps. I mean, and I mean, I mean scraps, little, you know, bits and pieces like that. If you haven't watched my other videos, so the last time that uh, we met, I had shown you this page, which I had added my little um, cards that others might consider ATCs, but they're really not because I use them in my work. And I, I added this one. I added some butterflies. I don't know how much I finished when I spoke to you the last time. I didn't review my video. But this page was something really crazy. And it also has to do with those down-to-the-bone scraps that you normally throw in the garbage. Okay. So this area here was one of them. You see those the red part and you have uh, hole punches and I have this flower. So this, it was almost to the bone. And I said, oh, I can use that for texture. And I did. And I said, I don't know what, and this heart was here and I didn't know what was going to become of this page. So this is what I have developed. Crazy, but I like it. I had a little sentiment there that I uh, stamped and fuzzy cut. That's another video that I had also. How you just go ahead and stamp some of your your uh, your stamps, and then you can fuzzy cut and add them later on. A heart that I found in my Cricut, I did it out of paper. It turned out really nice because this is a little hole that it leaves, so then you can see the underlying uh, paper. Okay, and I added that a little uh, texture paste and some stencil with texture paste and some of that uh, glossy accent that I added. See, uh, you can see it. And so forth. So, you know, again, a lot of uh, uh, texture, uh, paste, and, you know, my circles, and so forth. So, the uh, other one I wanted to show you also was this one. I found, I had I had shown a, a uh, oh, I had shown this before where I stamped. Usually I will fuzzy, fuzzy cut the flower, but I thought this would look really nice the way that it, it is, and I, I really like that. So I thought I'd try it again. With the butterfly I took a, a text page and then I put it I think I put it under a, a cardstock very thin cardstock to give it some sturdiness because the paper is really you know uh, thin and and then I used it in this fashion I, I just like it and of course I go my little scrap cards okay and I this was a punch that I had I got from a heartfelt I don't know I wanted to try some embossing gold uh, third embossing that I had was trying stuff out I liked it I threw it in there my butterflies I gave it a little background and stuff like that but and this again is a negative from the stick on you, you peel it off and you're, you're left with this I, I managed to add a little white to my a layout and I thought I'd throw that in and I and I think that looks really nice and some bling bling with sequences some stamping in the background, little pieces of paper here and there that, you know, you look at your scrap and then, and you see little pieces here and then you and you add them. You see all these pieces. So, you know, think twice before you throw away your, your pieces. I always say that. And a little, so the bling bling really looks really nice there. So that's that layout that I happen to have finished off. I really like this patient showing it off, okay? But um, that's what I have. Oh, oh, and I also wanted to uh, share with you. See, I don't do videos because I, I just don't know how to speed it up and all that. Maybe I'll do one one day. But right now, it's going to be a, a journal share. But and, and ideas, you know, I'll give you ideas. But this is a stamp um, that someone, I, I think it's artsy something. Someone has a stamp of these images. Okay, this, that, that stamp is out there. The leaves these circles with um, these little uh, uh, squids uh, doodling, I guess you can say. So, and, I, and this one too, this one also is a stamp, but I didn't want to get the stamp. They're easy to draw. I'm not, a, I don't draw very well, but you know, I like to do little scribbles and doodling and stuff like that. So I went ahead and, and took my round circles and, um, you know, my punched out and used it that way instead of a stamp. Now I have, you know, I have some texture there, some dimension. And then you design it the way you want to design it. This was one that I, I actually, you know, uh, followed the way they did it. 
and this one too i like this and all of these are just you know craziness i love this stuff look how beautiful and they're so easy and you just kind of think about your own images and you add to it and look how nice again look at my little scrap cards i'm gonna call them scrap uh, scrap cards and under um text paper that i ripped you see i ripped it and then i did some watercoloring i'm getting into watercoloring kind of like the way that lays out so i did some I, I, to me I, let me tell you I, I think it looks like it's um it's it's bleeding but <laughs> i'm gonna leave it because i i still like it so i'm gonna leave it so here you go some bling bling to these it's a little stamping and all this i drew i drew all these in just you know freehand freehand little stamping here and there and i really like this layout it's uh it's, it's whimsical so to speak and uh that's what I did since I spoke to you last. So what I wanted to do today is share two books of mine. First of all, also, uh, about, again, regarding my my uh, scrap cards, I when, when I introduced them, I said, just do the basic. Just get those little pieces of papers in there. doesn't matter. And then go back to details. So I did go back to my details and I added uh, some bling bling and some other little pieces here and there. And, they, and they're ready. They're ready to be put down on my, you see all that bling bling, either sequences or little um, of those uh, uh, bling bling stuff, okay? So th this bag, this bag is ready. I did this one today, I'm not, I don't know if I'm finished with it yet, but it was a piece of scrap. But anyway, these are ready to be put in my layouts when I wanna put it in. But today, I really wanted to talk about, um, uh, I, don't buy, I don't buy cardstock anymore, I, I really don't. Not not the the design car stock. I don't I don't find that I need any. What I have I don't even use, and I don't have a lot, but it's a lot because I don't use them. I like using text paper. I like using other types of of paper, uh, and I'll show you right now. But this is one that I created today out of the text paper pieces that I had. I took a, a just a regular card stock, uh, not the thick one. And then I put this, I just laid all these little pieces. And I'm sure you've seen this technique. I mean, this is this video is really more for those newcom the newbies, the beginners um, with uh, multimedia and stuff. Because this, I can, I could punch it, I can cut it, I can paste it, uh, tear it, and do whatever I want with this piece. All right. So with that said, I wanted to show you um, why I don't buy any more designer cardstock i don't i don't buy anymore because i all that marbling you know all that marbling that that is out there you take your plain cardstock because these are you know white or whatever whatever kind of paper you might have and you do the modeling and you come up with all these beautiful designs if you if that's if that's your thing you know when you when you marble i like marbling i like doing all this and then it becomes my background even even with uh, the folders, you know, the embossing folders. But I like all of this. It's my, that's my thing. And, um, you know, I have a lot. So I really don't, this is with um, a, a different kind of technique. I even took photo paper. I, I, I took photo paper and I did marbling on photo paper. And I do my butterflies, my circles, okay? And these are the... Um, Photo paper. This was a cardstock that I've had for a while. I just, you know, uh, did a little spritzing. This is water watercolor paper, and it looks really nice. I I spray it. Some of it is um, I, I did some jelly printing and stuff like that. But I I don't need to really. I mean, look how nice that is with the folder. Real a lot of dimension. So I really don't get any more designer papers at Michaels or any any of those other places. And look, look at this. I did this the other day with my daughter with ink and salt water and bleach water. Uh, some lady has this technique. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted to, but I needed to get some more intense watercolor um, ink because it's supposed to like spread and, and just blow out, you know. So I, I wanted to try it again. But I like the way it, it turned out. So this book here, this loose leaf book, I made it into my my go-to um cardstock uh when i need when i need something i go to this and i have some of the text paper uh i have um uh, oh the jelly printing i have jelly print this is 
the scraps. These are scraps that when I was cutting out, I don't know what I was doing, the cards or something I was cutting, but I was left with a lot of these pieces. So I went ahead and inked them up, sprayed them, and, and they and I'm going to use them on whatever whatever comes up. Look how beautiful this is from spraying, inking, and all that kind of stuff. So this is my cardstock. This is my go-to. And uh, I just wanted to share with you that you know, you don't always have to go and get cardstock. You can use what you have in your house with your paints, with your sprays. This is when I was jelly printing. Um, jelly printing. These look really nice. Okay, jet. Oh, and this is um, a mask. Oh, gosh, I can't think of it. But there's a technique out there that gives you this look. And I just love it. It gives you this nice uh, print. And then you can stamp and everything on it. And I, 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 they look so beautiful that I don't even want to use it. But this is my cardstock. Look how beautiful. It's just a beautiful cardstock. So I don't, and, and you know, a lot of this I don't even want to use. This is my printing and so forth. So this is what I use. Unless I create more out of text paper, this is what I use. In addition to that, there was this lady. Um, oh, she does a lot of those mini albums. And she has, where well, you have to buy, purchase the 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 printables and stuff like that. But this this uh, I'll, this here was her idea of having a scrap book to organize your scraps. I don't put them where the other papers are, but I, I just go here and I need any little strips. And what I did was I sold, I sold it in my machine. Did I, yep, I did, I, how the heck did I do this? I don't, you know what? I don't even remember how I did this. But in any case, I have I have these pockets in here and I and I um, put my, this is a long one, so I put all the uh, actual designer cardstock in here, as you can see, the designer cardstock that I have in here. Oh, these were those cards, you know those business, business card pockets? That's what this is. That's what this is. So, it, um, so this is how I keep my designer and then other little scraps and stuff. And I, this is also my go-to spot when I want, you know, to use any designer, just to use it up, this is what I go. So I highly recommend a loose leaf for your scraps. Um, you know, you, you, if you're doing printing, jelly printing, any spritzing and things like that, you can keep them there. I wanted to also tell you about, because this was awesome. I forgot who I got it from, but she took, she took a cardstock and she, and she laminated it, okay? And what this does is, let me see where's my book. Oh, uh, if I have to, uh, instead of going and get some parchment paper or uh, uh, whatever kind of paper, you just put it on your page and do your thing and it protects your underneath page. And then the nice thing about it is you can wipe everything off. Nothing sticks to it. So uh, I thought I'd share that. I did too. I, I'm painting this jar. I have a few minutes to share with you, but I'm painting this. Uh, I learned how to tint uh, just clear glass jars, and this is what I'm doing right now. Look how nice. And it's with glue, full coloring. Uh, just put enough glue so, could, you know, you have enough glue to put this in to, to cover the glass. And and a few drops of the, of the full coloring and a little bit of water. You, I just spray one time, you know, I spray it one time. Mix it nicely. Make sure you don't have any bubbles. You have bubbles. That's a problem. I already washed my one of my vases once already. Um, but and then you just put it and you start work, you, moving it around until it covers it and they put it upside down. I move it every so often because it, it accumulates the, the paint and let it drip. So I move it around and then I wipe this off. And this is, this is glue and paint. And you see? I wipe this off. I don't know if you can see that. But I I just take and I oops, this way. Should I go this way? Oh uh, yeah. So and I and I just wipe it off because it'll drip and then it's it's tinted glass. How cheap is that? Again, you use what you have. So my time is almost up. And I, I wanna thank you for uh tuning in. And I think today was like on the spur of the moment because that's why I don't understand how people make so many videos there every week. I don't know if they do it every week. I might have to do it. A little less often because every week today I had to think about okay what did I wanted to talk to uh, my audience about I'm glad I had something to say because I wanted to show at least the beginners right the beginners and I'm gonna put the word beginners on this video because they can just use 
uh, books, uh, pages, magazine pages. They don't have to really go out and get all this designer stuff. Okay, my 15 minutes of fame is up. I gotta go. Thanks for tuning in and give me a like. See you next week. Bye.